very delighted to be here with you today, obviously. Uh, what I won't tell you about is about Texas, uh, neither will I about Paris. Uh, what I will tell you about is how going into circles can be good for business, and also how islands, yes, this island, and Highland, this country we are in, uh, actually has mines, urban mines, that can create jobs. Uh, could sound a little bit surprising, but let's go back to the beginning. Uh, for, for those who don't know Veolia, uh, we've been based in Ireland for 20 years, roughly. Uh, we employ almost 600 people. We work with Irish business to think more efficiently about the use of water, energy, and waste. So it's the traditional definition of our business, if you want. That means helping to urge turn sewage water back into clean water that goes back into our waterways, exploring the hidden opportunities in industrial waste, and helping universities and hospitals re reduce their energy usage through more efficient combined heat and power, for instance. Now, like the rest of us, uh, the rest of you, like probably in this room, uh, we used to think right in straight lines. Uh, but now we have come round to a different way of doing business. We believe the take, make, dispose model company have been so addicted to is basically dying. And it's time to make way for the circular economy. So basically it's my Galileo moment, uh, if you want. Uh, at Veolia, we believe our responsibility is resourcing the world. It's our mission, ambition, if you want. So helping the world manages resources is a big task, as you can imagine. But what matters is that we prefer preserve scarce raw materials by reusing resources again and again. So we have basically redesigned totally a company which used to be, I would say, again, a quite traditional wastewater energy operating assets type of company, services, utilities, if you want, and totally redesigned in strategy and vision and everything to become, in a way, a mining industry. So basically, we use those wastewater and energy, which are wasted, as a mine in which we extract everything we need to remanufacture green products or green calories, which go to another loop and another circular usage, if you want. So again, from a, a, a quite traditional company, you say a rubbish industry, probably, uh, as your introduction to something very different. What it means is that we are a better place to meet our customers on the mutual challenges and offer fully integrated resourcing solutions. The reality is we are in better position to deliver value, which is what the circular economy must be all about, of course. So to us, the concept of the circular economy makes complete business sense. And the reason why I believe I should be the top of the agenda for all and each and single boardroom is because it can make a fundamental difference to your bottom line in a positive way, hopefully, or in a negative way just if you just choose to ignore it. It's all about, about supply and demand. Given the rapidly, the rapidly growing global population and with its fast increasing global consumption, it is clear that the security of supply is now recognized as one of the biggest risks to business continuity in the world. So why do we need to go circular and, again, close those loops? It's about cost, volatility, and scarcity of natural resources. The increasing difficulty of extracting them, and the reality is that, if you realize it, in between 1980 and 2020, so it's not such a long time, we have basically double how much we take out of the earth. So a new economy that helps us use resources more efficiently and embracing circular thinking can not only help you save money, it can also help you to make money. Of course, we are not an NGO, uh, so we are a business which makes this happen and happen for you, for our customers. McKinsey estimates that we are talking more than $1 trillion of untapped value globally in all companies if you embrace this circular economic concept. And I can see I have got your attention when I quote those type of figures, of course. So where should we start? 
uh, undoubtedly, there will be opportunities for Irish designers, retailers, and manufacturers. Especially designers who are seen as being at the heart of the circular economy because you are at the start of the chain, if I may say so. If products aren't designed to be durable, to be upgradable, to be repairable or recoverable, basically they will end up in a landfill or downcycled. Beyond that, we could say that you know, the recent experience of you know, the R&B or the Deep Car or Airbnb tells us that the ownership is not exactly what matters now, it's more the usage. So again, in terms of creative thinking uh, and design, it really pushes forwards and you know, pushes the boundaries. So a new approach to design or a rediscovered one will mean products are made in different ways. They are, will be modular or are designed with the end in mind, unlocking, again, these loops that could happen. For designers in particular, this is a chance to understand how manufacturers and retailers are reconsidering design demands and how they anticipate product specification change. I recently worked uh, with a talented group of designers from uh, Sustain at the Royal College of Art in, in the UK. They had invented and proposed a range of designs to different ways of looking at products. One example, a simple one, was just a mobile phone uh, that could be taken apart when it needed to be upgraded, that you could just basically pop into the post to, manufacture, uh, to have your manufacturer reuse the parts. Uh, Again, it's a small change, probably you wouldn't call it disruptive so much. Uh, still, it just changes everything. Uh, with the amount of precious metal that you have in a mobile phone, uh, that are even more so than the one we find in the dust of your uh, streets, it could restock an important veining resource. So, what the question you could raise for yourself is how could your business think more about repairing, maintaining the equipment you use or manufacture to consumers? Is there an opportunity to reuse part of it in your product, the one that you manufacture? Could you be recycling the materials in your own processes or reusing the effluent or the wastes as part of the new process? As you would expect, uh, we're doing this here in Ireland already. Uh, in fact, you could say it's helping us build up new, more sustainable infrastructure. Uh, we've helped divert non-recyclable solvents away from insulation already uh, and turned it into a recovery option. So now what used to be a waste byproducts from our customers' industrial manufacturing uh, facilities are now being used as an alternative fuel supply to the cement industry. Furthermore, we've enabled our clients to divert their industrial sludge waste streams away from landfill to produce a stream of alternative raw materials which are replacing naturally occurring raw materials in the cement production sector, uh, namely 6,000 tonnes in the Lagan cement last year, uh, if you want to be more precise. Uh, waste is not the only area where we're supported to create more circular solutions. Uh, our virtual power plant capacity enables our clients to generate new revenues by releasing their spare generation capacity back to the grid. So it's a local loop of energy, if you want. At all times, the security of supply and plant uptime is guaranteed through energy performance contracts tailored to deliver on carbon reduction targets. What we are addressing here are fundamental issues faced by industrial and commercial companies. Designing products to take into account the second and third lights even, better supply chain pricing, and quality of secondary recycled materials are all business critical. In fact, there is a myth that recyclates are more expensive or infer in quality than raw materials. In fact, in many cases, they are even better value and offer more consistent quality, and they also guarantee security of supplies, and we could also add local jobs in our communities. I'm sure you're all aware of the importance of reducing carbon impact. Uh, if, you know, like Ireland is going to have, you know, a 10 million inhabitants, I'm sure it's going to become even more critical than it is today. We even have a carbon footprint calculator that allows customers to calculate the environmental effects of your resource management activities. And that element of measurement is critical because to be successful in the future, I believe sustainability needs to be 
built into business thinking as opposed to just an add-on uh, which is you know, left to specialist area. You can't treat it like that. So the next thing is, OK, you can say, great, wonderful, we have a new offer and everything. But you know, how do we, we, did we get to this point of you know, like having those sludge transform into bioplastic? Or how did you get to have uh, this you know, dust, uh, which was basically landfill uh, when we stripped the sweet, the sweet, the sweet sorry, uh, becoming you know, uh, palladium and rhodium that we've discovered? Uh, actually, we were, and we still are, a very successful company, a big and everything, uh, and we were starting to become very comfortable too. Uh, so the question was, how do we drive innovation into a big, uh, big company? We're two billion in UK and Ireland in terms of turnover, 14,000 employees, and so on and so forth. How do we drive this thinking that we can't just rest on our laurels? We have to go further. We have to reinvent ourselves. We have to change our business model. Uh, of course, if we were uh, to only wait for the answers to come from the senior management, uh, some of the answers would be here, but it's just part of it. And we are just at the beginning of the circular economy, again, you know, like experience. Uh, so we came very, very naturally to the conclusion that we had actually to use each and single of our employee creative thinking uh, to allow us to go in the direction and closing more and more loops each day. And we've launched an innovation den, uh, for instance, uh, in the company, which was quite a, quite a, a big breakthrough uh, initially. So you, you all know the TV program I know. So it's exactly the same, uh, except that it has to be positive. So you can't criticize too much uh, the guy who dared pitching in front of, you know, like bosses or whatever. In the dragon side, because it's dragons, uh, you have, you know, of course, internal people, but also external. We've had uh, designers at one point. We had customers, uh, and you know, I encourage you if you, uh, some of you in this uh, room feel like to be a dragon for us, I would love to welcome you. Uh, and I can tell you, it's incredibly eye opener. Of course, uh, you have incredible ideas, and provided that you have in mind the why not as opposed to the why, I think it works. Uh, and it has really like um, uh, had a knock-on effect on the whole company in terms of understanding that not only uh, it was basically a specialty for all the R&D on the technical team, but actually we encouraged each and single of our employees, whatever the level and everything, to actually come and pitch and get Monday time or both uh, to develop their idea, provided that they were aligned with our mission. Uh, so now we have, you know, an incubation and everything for those ideas who have been approved to this innovation then. And again, uh, I encourage you to try this type of things because it works quite well. So I finally want to leave you with a simple me message. Changing your business mindset to one based on the circular economy and on innovation is possible. It needs to be led from the top, though, and bond room buys in is absolutely critical, otherwise, you know, you won't get anywhere. Plus, to get the boardroom uh, buy in, uh, but you are part of the boardroom also today, basically, you have to have financial uh, to demonstrate that actually it's not only fun, because it is, uh, but it's actually good business eventually. So, um, even competitors are starting to think collaboratively in order to improve sustainability. Business can't make changes working alone in a world of silos, and sharing knowledge is absolutely key to develop those new ideas. So from today's events, let's turn ideas into reality. And if you're not so sure how to go about circular economy, talk to us, talk to Veolia. Could be that we could help you. And collaboration is absolutely delivering some big changes in this brave new world, which is a circular one. Uh, it could be the best investment in the long-term security of your company you will ever have made. Thank you.